Welcome back. Today we're gonna to be installing the Tesla wall connector. About to unbox it now. And the goal is one, don't get electrocuted, two, successful install. Um, but we'll see how it goes. I'm by no means a certified electrician. Um, I'm comfortable doing handiwork around the house. But um, yeah, let's uh, try not to turn this into an episode of home improvement. For those curious, I am filming on the Osmo Pocket 3, uh, which is with active track enabled. Wow. That is cool. So here we have the wall connector in all its glory. Quick start guide. We have here the wall mounting template. Let's get to measuring. So I found my stud location. Now I just gotta see what the center is so we can mount it in the middle. Hopefully it lines up with the template. Made my hole so that I can kind of fish the cables. So what I'm gonna do is measure how far uh, the entry point of the, um, where I plan to insert the Romex cable through, how far that is down from the top of the charger so that I can put it at a height that works for us. 11 inches, give or take. 62, so then it's gonna be about 11 and a quarter. So the middle of the hole I make to bring the cable through is gonna be there. So the new hole is complete. It is made down here on the side. And now I have access, can touch my fingers. Just show you here. So now I can go ahead and make the hole right through the stud and then pass the cable through and then hopefully just pretty simple come out right there. Progress. Success. Whew, all right. So that was a pain in the butt. So lesson learned with the, um, the screws that are provided by Tesla as I was drilling the, the screw, the screw head just completely stripped. I had to act, end up using a square bit that kind of fit within the, the surface of the newly stripped area. And so I was able to put that in, now it's on there, it's on tight. Um, now comes kind of the most, I guess, uh, intimidating part for me is the electrical part um, that gets me kind of like heebie-jeebies. It shouldn't be too bad because of where I have all the connections and everything. My house doesn't have a main power breaker. You know, even if I shut all this off, right, that, that's still gonna be live. So the good part is that I have all this area here to go ahead and put the 50 amp breaker that I purchased and all my wiring is coming right here. So I can ground the cable pretty easily and then connect everything to the breaker and just slide it in. So even though it's technically a live panel, uh, I feel comfortable that, you know, nothing crazy should, uh, should happen. All right, now that that's installed, cut this sleeve. Now what's cool is that Tesla has an indicator right here on where you need to trim the, the cable at. It tells you right there, strip length. We have that connected. Moment of truth, I'm gonna flip the breaker. Everything is connected properly, everything is secure. And uh, hope we get zero sparks and um, a successful install. So I'm just gonna flip it, make sure there's no sparking or nothing like that. Um, and then mount the cover, everything looks good and the lights come on, we'll configure it. Let's see. I didn't jump there. Um, so that's a good sign, no sparks, sweet. So I'm uh, gonna go ahead and shut that off and then we'll mount the cover on, screw it on, and then we'll flip the breaker, turn it on again. 
All right, moment of truth. Hopefully it doesn't blow up. It'll go through a light sequence for powering on. And then when it starts, I think, blinking with a single light, it'll um, be ready for pairing. Yep, there we go. And we're all done. So uh, the wall charger is fully installed, um, confirmed everything works, set it up with the app, which was pretty straightforward. It was a little, was a little tricky at first because I didn't open the Tesla app and was just going straight to the uh, IP address like the quick start guide mentioned. Once I opened the app, went to my products and then went to add a product, um, it had a walkthrough for adding a Tesla wall connector. So that was pretty great. All in all, I think the installation looks pretty clean. I'll show you here in just a second. I love how it just looks like it's just floating on the wall. I did test and confirm that it doesn't matter where we park the car. Uh, if it's on that side or this side, it'll be long enough, no problem. All that's left now is to go ahead and pick up the car. Uh, delivery day is tomorrow, so I'm very excited about that. Once again, make sure you're just being safe, make sure you're being cautious if you're trying to attempt this on your own. Um, I did get a couple estimates before installing it on my own, and the first person quoted me $400 even with just materials and labor, and then the second person quoted me $650, which was outlandish. I think in total materials, I'll, I'll put it on the side of how much everything cost. Um, but I think the, um, the breaker was about maybe like $38 or something like that. And then the wiring was like another 25. So I, everything came out to under a hundred bucks. So we'll see how delivery day goes tomorrow, bring you along and um, stay tuned. We made it to Tesla and we're here. I will say this is pretty cool. It's like uh, the Stormtroopers equivalent. Oh, and we're at uh, Hollywood Studios, right? You walk in and it's like this giant room of, of stormtroopers. I was already a little excited, but now I'm like, now it's real. 